Hey everyone and welcome to another Airbrush Asylum video. Today I want to show you the completed Paratrooper Harley. All the artwork's done. I know a few of you have probably already seen the progress videos showcasing you know, some of the other panels, but I thought I'll film this so that um, if you haven't seen those, you can check out the whole artwork that was created on this particular project. So let's get into that right now. Okay, so here I have the completed artwork on the rear guard or rear fender. So this was created using Trident water-based airbrush colors. The wider airbrushes, I used a CMSB, a CMC Plus Micron, and a Iwata Eclipse. I mainly used the Eclipse just to seal in with uh, the Intercoat Clear as I was working on it. That just helps to protect any of the paint from lifting up when you're masking over the top of it. The helmet was done using a mix of paper templates and freehand as well as some brushwork to get those really fine lines in there. The fine dots were done with the airbrush and I used this particular paper template which I hand cut so that was fun. You see the back of it so I just use that to basically spray in all the lighter areas and then work from there. So mixing it up with the masking and freehand. So that's the paratrooper ready to jump. Then we've got the paratrooper landed and in battle. So both of these artworks were heavily referenced from the Medal of Honor uh, games. So they're box artwork. So this one was from the Medal of Honor Vanguard and the other one was from Airborne. Um, uh, quite a few things were still changed like the weapon was changed because um, it had to match up with the weapons used by the Australian paratroopers. You can see the clouds feathering out as well. So they're both of the completed guards. So let's go take a look at the tank. Okay, so here we have one side of the tank. You can see the Harley Davidson emblem, the star, keeping with that army theme that was originally on there. So I've just worked the murals around that. I didn't mask them off, I just uh, freehanded around it so it all flowed nicely. You can see the paratroopers are quite small. And again, using Trident water-based airbrush colors, this particular um, paratrooper, the lines on here were done with a fine brush, whereas these two were done with fine line tape. It's a little tricky with the curves, but I cut some paper templates first and just laid them on to make sure I was happy with the positioning. And you can see the clouds run down near the center where the console is going to sit. So let's go take a look at the other side. This is the other side of the tank, so same thing. Emblem was left and I airbrushed the Hercules. Just flying over the clouds. So again paper templates with masking on this one just to get all the defined edges and then um, just a bit of shading and highlighting to make it look three-dimensional. This project's going to get a matte clear just to fit in with the rest of the bike. So looking forward to seeing it all clear-coated and completed and back together again. So I do hope you enjoyed checking out the completed art on the Paratrooper Harley. If you haven't already, feel free to hit subscribe, tap on that bell icon that will notify you every time I put out new content. And until next time, go grab your airbrush and go do some amazing artwork yourself and I will see you again very very soon. Bye for now.